For the disinfectant procedure, you will again check the disinfectant wipe container expiration date. Using disinfectant wipes, use the following sequence. The light handles and cover, the front and side delivery system and attachments. Discard that wipe. With the new disinfectant wipe, continue to the patient's share, top to bottom. Wipe down and away with overlapping strokes to ensure complete coverage. Discard that wipe. Wipe the rheostat and discard that wipe. Use a new disinfectant wipe for the operator stools, top to bottom, as well as the cabinet tops, sides, shelves, drawers, and tackle box. Allow the surface to remain wet following manufacturer's specifications. Leave disinfectant in corners, cracks, and crevices for residual effect in difficult to clean and disinfect areas. Next is the water wipe. For the water wipe, proceed in the following manner. Start with the light handles and cover, and then the rheostat. You'll gently use a dampened paper towel to water wipe to remove any cloudiness on these areas from the disinfectant. Then wash utility gloves 220s, followed by wiping them each thoroughly with the disinfecting wipe. Turn them inside out, wrap in paper towels, and place them in the bottom drawer of the cabinet. Then wash hands using the two cycle method. Place on treatment gloves followed by overs. Take four paper towels. Place two in the supply drawer and place two along with an extra pair of over gloves on the cabinet shelf above the computer keyboard. You will now disinfect the treatment supplies. You will take your tackle box and you will take each supply, remove each supply and wipe it with a disinfectant wipe. Then place it in the supply drawer. You will do wipe the multicolored pencils, the red-blue pencil, the lead pencil. You may have them in a Ziploc bag as well. You will wipe the hand mirror, place that on the side counter. Wipe down the disclosing solution, patient education materials, patient and student protective eyewear. Then you will close your tackle box, wipe the outside sides, bottom of the tackle box, and put the tackle box away inside the cabinet. Next, you will place barriers. Barriers should be placed on any surfaces known or likely to become contaminated by touching, droplet, or splatter, or by transfer from contaminated items. You will place barriers on the following items. Light handles and light switches, chair headrest, chair switches, front delivery system and attachments, a handpiece if you have one, an ultrasonic, intraoral camera arms on the delivery system hoses, tubes, and cords, saliva ejector, high-speed evacuation hose, air water syringe, and the delivery system arms. Also the cabinet drawer handles. You will place appropriate barriers on handles that adjust computer monitor, keyboard and mouse using extreme caution. You'll cover keyboard with a special barrier. Then arrange the unit and operator stools to allow a clear path for the patient. Place the armchair down. Remove and discard treatment gloves and wash hands or use antiseptic rub for the recommended time. Finally, with paper towels, remove your lab coat and your PPE. Place the lab coat inside out and hang it on a hook at your unit.